Hi, Canada Sports TV here, back with another video. And today we're going to be previewing the Sporting Kansas City versus the Orlando City game. So come along, see if Sporting Kansas City can win this game. And obviously, everybody knows their main player, Kaka, who has two assists on the season. But their top scorer is Kyle Lauren, and is the key man that we have to worry about in the attack and goal scoring form. And Kaka can obviously score, or take a penalty, or can make a pass. And he can see things. He's good at seeing things around the game. Those little extra details that other players just don't see that can help get you on the break even though he's not directly involved in the play. So that's the, that's more the thing that Kyle Costello has left in his game, is set pieces and seeing the little things he can tell his teammates to look for and being that on-field coach. But other players we need to worry about maybe a little bit are for Orlando or Salvando, Carrasco, Will Johnston, Carlos Rivas. Those are the main other three players that we need to worry about as they they all are the scorers too. I meant Kaka had two goals. I believe he's the top assist there too. But um, so those are all the goal scorers for Orlando, and obviously we know who all our goal scorer is. Our top goal scorer of five goals, he's gonna be missing with a fifth yellow card, which is disappointing in this Sporting Kansas City preview to be thinking about. And so half of our goals this season have been been from this man, and it's really disappointing to see him not being able to play. But now let's talk about some other stats that to analyze to see what I think is gonna happen. So. Orlando's played ten, nine games, won six, lost three. And Sporting's played ten games, won five, lost two, drew three. So technically, we have the same amount of points as them. They have one less, they have a game in hand on us, even though they're in the Eastern Conference. They've been pretty good this season. And they have conceded 11 goals, we've conceded five. And they scored 11 goals and we scored 11 goals. So our goal scoring is the same, but our defense is much better. Our whole defense is starting. Hopefully, Opara and Zussi are back in the starting 11 from this game. Because we saw that worked out last game. So hopefully, they're back in the starting 11. But we really probably were going to have more of the possession, I'm guessing. I'm worried about is... If we can score goals, because we can score against the Loons of Minnesota United. I know it's a away game, but they're the worst defensive team in the Major League Soccer, and whether they're picking up their form or not right now. And we gave them a clean sheet. That's really disappointing in terms of my viewpoint. So I'm really looking for us to pick up some goals. But Don Dwyer, half of our goals this season, not going to be playing for fifth yellow cards. I don't really know where they expect the goals to come from. So I'm a little bit worried about this game. So I'm going to predict a 1-1 draw for Sporting Kansas City versus Orlando. I'm really worried about Carl Lauren and Kaka. And there's a few other players that can pop up a goal. But those are two players, two key threats that Sporting Kansas City need to worry about. If I was an Orlando fan, the two key threats, if you're watching this, that would probably be, I just don't, main threat you gotta worry about is Benny Felhaber. Gerso Fernandez can do some moves, might be able to get on the score sheet. And our only other score scorers are our left back, Seth Sinovic. So I'd really be worried about Benny Felhaber and our two wingers maybe getting on the score sheet. If Sony Stassad starts this striker, I'd be happy as an Orlando fan because I'm not sure he's gonna be able to perform. And the only thing he's really got to see in his locker is a long shot. And he doesn't seem to have a lot of good movement in the box. So I'm a little bit worried about that. So I don't know if I really want him to score. I don't know if Cameron Porter is available. I don't know if we can bring up somebody from Swope Park Rangers. Maybe we play slowly at striker. We just don't know who we're going to play at striker. So I'll be positive thinking you're in this game Orlando. And I'm a little bit worried about this game. But I'm going to go for 1-1 one, one draw. I'm gonna hopefully we'll at least get a draw of this game. Away at Orlando without Dom Dwyer. And come on Sporting Kansas City. Let's do this.